Don't pick your skin, big bandage. Okay, <laughs> we're going. Say hi. Come here. Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Mm. So, you guys, <laughs> today, me and my dog apparently are both going to be on screen. Um, today I want to talk to you guys about some of my favorite dairy-free alternatives because I know that there's a ton on the market and when you're making the switch to a dairy-free lifestyle it can be kind of stressful, you know, figuring out new recipes, figuring out things that you like and don't like, and most importantly, like for me at least, not trying to waste money. <laughs> so this list is some of my favorites, not everyone's going to love them, some people are going to probably be like, that's gross or that's really good. Everybody has different tastes, but I think my opinion is pretty good. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you guys like these products as well. Um, so I'm just gonna go through a couple and I will show you guys whatever I happen to have in my fridge right now. First, dairy-free milk. Silk milk. Dude, this is like my staple. Like I drink this before I even went dairy-free because I just don't like cow juice, you know? It's kind of kind of weird. I don't want no cow juice. I don't want no cow juice. Um, but silk almond milk, it's really good. And the new taste actually is really, really silky and a little bit like creamy. Um, I have the vanilla almond one, 30 calories per serving, and it also has 50% more calcium than dairy, which I hear a lot of people say, you know, where am I gonna get my calcium once I go vegan or once I go dairy free? A lot of like vegan products do have like more calcium or have been fortified with more. Silk is amazing, love it. Definitely a staple. And they have, you know, just regular, this one is vanilla. Um, you can get unsweetened, sweetened. I think that chocolate, all that good stuff. Second option, Forger Cashew Milk. And this one is so creamy and it's a little bit more expensive. I think this is about five or six bucks. My husband bought this. This one was supposed to be the unsweetened one, but I usually get the regular version so that I can use it to mix in like, to make sauces, like dairy-free sauces, so I can make an Alfredo sauce with this and then maybe some soaked cashews. I could use this in baking. I could use this to make a homemade mac and cheese. So that's what I like to use this one for because it's a little bit more expensive. Um, I like the creamy taste, so I wouldn't drink this every day, but maybe use it in like dishes that I'm making. Secondly, let's talk about dairy-free butter, which a lot of the products in the butter section actually are dairy-free, which is kind of impressive. Um, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite is the Earth Balance Original Butter. It is vegan, it's gluten-free, non-dairy, non-GMO. The only thing about Earth Balance is that they do contain soy, so if you have a soy allergy, I probably would not recommend this. But the taste is seriously right on the money. Like, you cannot tell the difference between this and butter. I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not a huge, like, butter freak. <laughs> butter freak. You a butter freak, girl. <laughs> but this is pretty good. Third, let's talk about... Let's talk about... Yogurt. My favorite yogurt brand, hands down, has got to be Kite Hill. They make the best yogurt. And I think they just came out with a Greek yogurt too, if I'm not mistaken. My favorite one, because I'm a child, is <laughs> these ones that just came out, they're tubes. Um, but I really do like to take these on the go, especially since I'm so busy with school and work. You know, I can just sit there and I don't need a spoon, don't need to clean any dishes. I just suck it out of the tube and I'm gonna eat one right now, apparently, because it sounds pretty good. And just like that, and dude, it's so good. Like the flavor, the way it like sits in your mouth, I know it sounds weird, but it feels like yogurt. Like I've tried a bunch of different yogurts, um, no shame. So delicious one is like a little bit watery. Like I feel like it's hard to kind of get that texture. Oh, it's so good, it's so good. And Kite Hill also has um, probiotics in their yogurt, which are awesome for acne sufferers because it'll help seal and heal your gut. And gut health is like very vital for just like your whole body and how you're going to function and your skin health. I'll finish this later. Hopefully I don't have anything in my teeth. No, they were good. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to talk about cheese, vegan cheese. I was so overwhelmed with vegan cheese at first. I was just like, nope. 
not gonna do it because I'm gonna waste money on all these different products and I didn't know if it was gonna taste good, you know, like you plan to have a pizza night and like make homemade pizza and then if yours turns out badly, you have to make something else or whatever. So finally I was like, screw it. I'm just gonna try all the cheeses and these ones are my favorites. For pizza, I like to use a Daya. Um, yeah, I only have a little bit left, so I should probably get more. Daya is awesome. I would only put a little bit on though. You don't want like your whole pizza to be covered with it just to like get the taste. Um, I really like Daya. I like the way it tastes. It is soy free um, and it's vegan, which is amazing if you have a soy allergy like me. Love it. So good. And um, if you guys ever go to Mellow Mushroom, they actually have this as an option. So you can go with a date and split a pizza, half seas. And then we'll put half of this and then half like, you know, regular cheese and whatever your other person wants. Uh, but me and my husband like to do that a lot because it's one of the places that we can both go to eat out. Second cheese. And this just came out. So delicious. Um, this is the cheddar. Ooh, this is the cheddar jack flavor. Terrific on tacos. It really is like really good on tacos. It says melty. I wouldn't say that it melts that much, especially not compared to the Dio one. Um, but still, it has a really, really good flavor. I love this cheese. And this one is made with coconut, but it is soy free, so that's good. All right, now we're gonna talk about soft cheeses. Oh girl, these soft cheeses, I swear. This one is the best. The tree line nut cheese, artisanal nut cheese. It is so good. and. I made my mother-in-law try it and she didn't even know the difference between this and the regular one. It comes in like this little circle and you can grate it, which obviously you can see I've been doing. And then you just can put it back here and save it. It has such a strong flavor. It tastes like real cheese. It's amazing. I love it. And it, this one is made from cashews and water, sea salt, lactic acid, black peppercorns and this one also has probiotics in it which again is amazing for your gut second favorite is this mayoko's creamery and they make a bunch of different products as well this is a oh i have some broccoli on there fresh mozzarella cheese bala. i love it so good so creamy and this is actually really good on pizza too you can do thin slices and it'll kind of brown and it gets so melty this was recommended to me from someone on Snapchat, so thank you, girl, on Snapchat, so much. Thank you, fam. Um, to put it in mac and cheese, actually, with like a little bit of water or a little bit of like nut milk, it works. It's delicious. But lastly, we're gonna talk about ice cream. So my two favorite brands, I don't have any Ben & Jerry's right now, but Ben & Jerry's is awesome, and they also have a lot of dairy-free, dairy fee. hopefully you don't have to pay a fee, dairy-free flavors. Um, and their scoop shops, which is amazing. Meaning that you can go out and get ice cream with someone. You don't have to just like take a pint home. And So Delicious has a bunch of different flavors as well. The only one I have right now is the soy milk, peanut butter zigzag. This was before I knew I had a soy allergy. That's why I still have it. I don't have any other ice cream in my fridge right now, but they have soy milk, coconut milk, cashew milk, almond milk. They have like 45 different flavors. It's amazing. So, Tastes like the real thing. The only thing I would recommend with this one and the Ben & Jerry's is to take it out like 10 to 20 minutes before you think that you're gonna eat it so it can get a little melty. Otherwise it kinda like is hard and flakes off. Not like a real ice cream, which is weird. But if you wait and like let it get melty, it's creamy and awesome and delicious and I love it. Hopefully this video helped you kind of think about some alternatives that you could use or will make the transition going into a dairy-free lifestyle easier. I know for me, it was really, really hard at first because I didn't know where to start or you know what products were good or what to use or any of that stuff. So, you know, hopefully this helps you in some way. And being dairy-free is like one of the best decisions that I made for my skin. So if you're doing it for your skin, for your health, because you're against the dairy industry, any of that, it is the way to go. It's awesome. And I hope you enjoy it. So thank you so much for watching this video and like or comment or subscribe. That's it. Bye.